Well, hello everyone. What is going on? It is the Armati Jeff, and we are here with episode five of Grand Theft Auto Vice City. All right there, we go. Just finished off the third run, third set of taxi. Um, in the previous episode, we completed the mission riot. We um, did the paramedic job and picked up our first eight rampages, as well as our first. Well, not our first. Sorry, a single hidden package by accident. Um, now I know exactly what we're going to be doing in this episode, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to add anything on it, it just depends on how long it takes us, but what I want to do first of all is, if we come straight down to the bottom, down here, and should be around this corner. Oh, let's not hit the officer. They don't tend to like it when you do that. Uh, somewhere around here. Ah, yes, there it is. We're going to be purchasing all the properties. Um, so this one costs 7000 which we have enough to do, which is all good. So that's the Ocean Heights apartment purchased. So this is another place where we can save our game now. The plan for this episode is we're going to purchase the five properties. We're going to do the next mission, which is, well, it's not technically a mission, it's an assassination contract called, um, um, I can't remember what it's called now. Literally just done it before, because I was testing uh, what I was going to do this episode, just to make sure that everything was possible. Um, I think it's Road Kill or something, or Road Rage, something along those lines. Um, we are also going to do the four sort of side activities for this episode, and I've drove past it. Uh, one of which is Cone Crazy, which we're about to do now, which is very easy. And uh, it's also been subject to an exploit where if you do it a certain way, you can make mm, loads of money. Uh, we're not going to bother with that, we don't want to really exploit anything. So I'm just going to do it the one time. Uh, we're gonna, but I'll explain what the exploit is just in case you want to do it. Uh, if we can go the right way, that is. Um, we also have PCJ Playground, the RC Baron Race, and the RC Bandit Race, which we're going to do as well. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So what you want to do is come up to this cap, I should probably say, and get in this stallion. So it's cone crazy. Collect five checkpoints without smashing any coins. Cones. You may collect checkpoints in any order. Any order. Pass through a checkpoint to start the timer. Yeah, yeah. Um, so obviously it starts when you collect the first checkpoint, so it's fine. Um, I'll tell you what the exploit is. Basically, every time you beat your record, the amount of money that you get doubles. And if you do it up to a total of twenty-three times, I think it's before it glitches and goes to negative. Uh, obviously, it comes to a really high amount. And so what you do is you purposely go for the, um, as slow as you can the first time, so you like stop the mission at zero seconds, and then just finish it off, and then obviously you do it like a teeny bit faster every time until the point it builds up. But um, we're not going to do that. So from the way I've done it, I'm going to pick up that one. It's going to be pretty much constantly on a tight timer, so don't worry too much. As you can see, they're a bit lenient with um, how you impact the cones. Like, you can hit them, you just can't fully, like, knock into them. So grab those two. I've actually butchered this, to be honest, because um, I usually do so much better, but... There we go. That's how you do that one. That was dead quick and easy. So if you did it faster than that, um, that would double to 400, and then if you did it faster than that, it would double to 800, and then so on and so forth. But that's how you do that, um, but we're going to just do it the once. Alright, that could have gone a lot better. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to need another car, for sure. Uh, don't really want to pinch one while this copper's around. We'll take this one, I think. Um, try and make it a fast car, this one that we're going for next, because you're going to need it. Uh, right, okay. So we'll do the phone contract. So it's fired up. Yeah, roadkill. So that's what I thought. Mr. Shields, you have been erratic hating those out of towners was in 
valuable to business. I have more work for you with a more hands-on approach. Your next job is taped under the phone. <coughs> Okay, so the call was Mr. Teal because we took the phone call. Uh, Carl Pearson, pizza delivery man, killing before he completes his deliveries. So I've, um, like I said, I've, I've tried pretty much everything that I've doing minimal in this episode, which is all like the side missions and all that. And this was pretty easy, to be honest. Um, as long as you have a fast car, and it, it should be a car, don't do it on a bike because you're more likely to get knocked off than he is. Um, but from what I've tried of all the activities, probably the hardest thing there was to do was the PCJ Playground, which is a bit like those off-road missions from GTA 3. Uh, you know, where it sets you like a certain time to collect all these checkpoints, although it's not the same as collecting checkpoints it adds like five seconds on or anything. And it wasn't too bad, I did it on my second try, but even then it was quite tight. And obviously bikes are notoriously more difficult to control than cars and you're more likely to go flying off the flying off it. And we've literally just gone through a whole block and end up where it started off and you end up getting knocked up by someone else. <laughs> well, there we go, that, that's made things easier. Let's just finish him off. Okay. There we go. And that's that. <laughs> cool. Alright, uh Let's carry on working on properties. Um, so, oh, doing this again, of course. Let's just check where we are. So, oh, it's literally just up a little bit. Well, actually, no, it's behind this building. And a bit. It should be on our left, I think. Yeah, there it is. So we can buy 1,102 or 1,102 Washington Street for 3,000. It's good. So obviously this will be a lot easier if you were actually using that corn crazy exploit, but like I said, I don't really want to use any exploits. Alright. Uh, right. Alright, so I, th I think probably because we're going south to north here, I think the next thing I'm going to do is the PCG playground. Which is just the north of all those stunt jumps we were doing a couple of episodes ago. And you'll, you'll notice that. Oh, that's not good. Jesus, he ran in front of me, that wasn't my fault. Come on, sons of bitches. That was not my fault, come on. Is there any tokens around here or anything? No tokens, are you kidding me? Are you freaking gaining me? I don't know if it'll carry over to the activity, that's all I'm thinking, and it's difficult enough without the police getting involved. That's all I'm thinking. Uh, I'm sure there's one around here. Oh yeah, there's one. That shouldn't make things easy, because that means they won't actively pursue us, they'll just come to our attention if we show up, which means it leaves a bit for that one level to disappear. Um, so there's the PCJ bike that we're going to be using, just to our right there. Um, yep, there's the star gun. Good. All right, let's do this. You have 120 seconds to collect 24 checkpoints. You may collect them in any order, even though there's a, there's a way of doing it. You can't just go and do whatever. But again, it doesn't start till you collect your first checkpoint. So, um, you have very little wiggle room in this, basically, so try your best not to cock it up. Dude, why did you just run in front of the car? Right. But um, luckily, um, it'll accept quite a large um, you know, distance away from the checkpoint. You don't have to hit it bang on, obviously. We're actually not doing too bad, as of yet. These first ones down this alleyway are more typically the more difficult ones. Um, it's better to, rather than hitting the brake, because that will cause your bike to swerve, just release the accelerator. Unless you've got to obviously stop before those vans or anything. 
Uh, but we're actually not doing too bad here. Oh, I, th I say, but again, we should still be able to do this. Pretty well. I cocked up more on the um, the last goal, but I did it. Oh, again, like I said, it's a lot more difficult on a bike. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Mm. Alright. I know that in my successful attempt I was around about 20 seconds here, so I've got more leeway. Alright, this is also a, a, a quite a difficult one to pull off, so give yourself some space to make this jump. You've got to hit that stir, or the staircase, whatever. How did I miss that? Are you kidding me? God damn it. Oh no, don't do this. Don't do this. I don't know how we missed that. Right, come on, come on, quick, 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 quick. There we go. Phew. Jesus. <laughs> that wasn't fun. I didn't like that. How dare you scare me like that? Alright, well we did it. First try. Did this go through anyway, so, you know. Can't completely complain. Can't completely complain. Um, Alright, so we've got a little bit of distance now because we want to go to the very far northern one. The, the north end of Vice, East Vice City. Uh, the reason for that being, even though the RC Bandit race actually takes place on the beach, about midway up, or about three quarters of the way up at least, um, on the PlayStation version, so that's both the PS2, PS3, well, I assume if it did come out on PS3, PS2, 3 and 4, there's a glitch where the top fun van that you're meant to get into doesn't actually spawn. So you've got to take the one from the Baron race and drive it over. And I'm just checking here where the next property is. It's just about where the pain sprays. Oh. So there's only five that we can purchase at this point, guys. So we're going to pick all of those up in this episode, I think. We've probably gone a bit too far to the east, to be honest. Uh, t -t 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 right, okay, right, I, I know where we're going. Uh, yes, yeah, so you've got to actually drive that van over to the bandit start, bandit start up, and leave the van and get back in it, and then that'll cause it to start. But um, here's our next property, which is Lynx View Apartments for six thousand dollars. So it's not actually that bad, like. It's a good job we've, we've saved it um, this kind of late on, even though it's only episode 5. Um, but we actually have a decent amount of money, so we should easily be able to purchase everything that we need. Um, okay, so we've got a couple more. We should end up buying all of them before we end up reaching our next side thing. Uh, this next one's actually not too far away. It's actually this property on our left, I think. So that's what the map's indicating. Whoops, sorry. Don't look in my face. Right, where is this thing? Hello. Oh, there it is. Okay. So this is the El Swanko Casa for eight thousand dollars. Very swanko. <laughs> All right. Very nice. So we can store vehicles if we want to, but we're not really that interested. Usually just take whatever's on the road. Never found anything really that rare. Alright, and the last one we're going to do is pretty much where we spent quite a bit of time during our third and fourth rampage in the last episode. Uh, obviously, if we didn't crash all the time, we might actually get there in one piece. Um, it was round about the area where we kept picking up the body armor. It's this place on our right. Not sure where the marker is. Okay, come on. 
Stay with me. Oh, don't punch the officers, don't look intimidating. Uh, where is this thing actually? It looks like it's supposed to be over here. 3321 Vice Point. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I thought it was going to look to our left. Where's this thing? Is it around the back or something? Might be for all I know. Let's try around here. No. Nope. Come on. I just want my property. What the hell is it? Uh, listen. Oh, it's there. Well, that's just that's just wrongly marked on the map that I'm following. All right, so three to two vice point for two thousand five hundred dollars. Come on, buy it. There we go. Yeah, the map I'm using it points to that to the block to the south of it for some reason. I don't know why. All right, uh, let's abandon the bike and take this swing. Oh, didn't mean to do that, but fine. Uh. Let's take this swankier looking car. Turn the radio off, we don't need it. Um, so we're actually very close to where the, um, oh, excuse me, excuse me, to where the next activity we're going to do is, which is the RC Baron race, which is a plane race, which I find quite challenging, but once you get the hang of it, it becomes a lot easier. Because uh, the planes are actually kind of awkward to control, but uh, I give it a few goes, and then towards the end, it was just stupid mistakes that were causing me to fail, and if you put your effort to it, it becomes a lot easier. So when I come to the top of this block of car parks, or whatever you want to call it, there's our top fun van, the only one that's spawning on this island for some reason. Okay. So it's a checkpoint race with, other, with three other RC planes. Um, I'm pretty sure the plane itself is indestructible. Because, um, I mean, I've done some pretty bad crashes and it's just not even made a dent or anything. I think it's just, obviously, you've got to keep well if you want to remain in the lead. The takeoff is, in itself is pretty awkward. Now it's just about balancing you so just keep pressing up and down so that you can keep with the speed but also not crash into anything or miss any checkpoints which can be a big pain because they're actually quite tight with the checkpoints like they could be tighter I admit but with an awkwardly controllable plane it is still quite tight I should think Hopefully, we should be able to do this. Oh. So some of these go quite low, so just be careful. And some of them don't, you can't automatically see from the last checkpoint, so just keep an eye on your map as well. They do give you a sort of indication about where the next one is, so if you need to make any sharp turns, the minimap kind of does tell you. But... If you keep level headed, if you relax a bit, obviously not too much, but follow a pattern, then it shouldn't be too bad. I'm obviously not doing too bad of these activities today. I don't want to say I've spoken too soon, because, you know, <laughs> we got close to that PCG playground, to be honest, and that, surprisingly, it's that usually, it's that very last checkpoint that people find hard to pull off. We found the second to last one, we must have just hit it at too awkward an angle, I think. But if you get a good runway... I know we're talking about an activity we've already done, but if you get a good runway with that one... Uh, you should be able to make that back roof. Because it's a pretty good bike, despite all bikes being generally difficult to handle. But I know we're coming up relatively close to the end of the race now. I think it just goes around this bend at the bottom and then... Comes back up the other side a little bit and then it finishes. I think we're well ahead of all the other planes now. Because they are slow enough that even if you have quite a bad, not like terrible, like if you have a few bumps at the start, then you can catch them up. But there we go, that's the end. Booyah! First time. 
Wonderful. Alright, now we want to keep a hold of this, then, because for some reason they've still not patched even though it's gone through another two generations. Sort of. I mean, they didn't even bother fixing any issues with the PS2 version. Uh, the issue with the RC van. The Top Fun van not showing up at the RC bandit location, so... Keep a hold of this, and it should, as you pull into the mark, automatically start it up, so... It's not too bad, it took me a while to find where it actually supposed to start it up. Because, you know, like I said, um, I've gone through all this just prior to starting the episode, just so I knew how difficult everything was, and I'm so glad I did. I just noticed that we've got a taxi parked in our slot now where that f swanky muscle car was before. So I have to feel like it's not really a fair exchange. Alright. So it should be around here. We go to the dirt track and you want to be on the south side. Roughly across from that jock spot thing, so it should be around. Yep, there it is. So similar thing, I think you've got to do two laps around this course. If you don't oh, I didn't mean to skip that then, but it's obviously not gonna be some game breaking cuts that you like story breaking cutscene like oh my god someone important died no they didn't if, weirdly there's like no contact with other RC cars if you you just drive straight through them you can't knock them off course which I guess you can say is a positive because to be honest it's going to cause more damage to you than it is to others if you bump into one of them so that's how these old games work they work in the opponent's favour now, you'll find that a couple of times you will get into close contact with the second placer, the, which is usually the red bandit car. Um, and as long as you keep it close with them and then steal it from them towards the end, or better yet, like overtake them and never let them take over again, but that's unlikely to happen. They are quite good. Uh, it should be good to go. But it could take a few attempts. It did take me a couple of tries. I think well, I think it literally was my second go where I beat it. Should be coming around to our first checkpoint. Yep. There we go. So we didn't balls that one up too much. We're doing pretty solid. Sorry, I'm just in full concentration now. We're not doing too bad, I must say. Again, obviously you can... Even though the dirt track falls only one way, so you know which way you're going to end up going. You can have a look at the checkpoint map if you want to prepare yourself for corners, but really it's not that bad once you get a hang of it. We're coming up close to the end again. Oh, come on. Never mind, we're further off than I thought we were. <laughs> oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. That was, that was a bad move. <laughs> I didn't know that was a corner then. I thought that was j it went on a little bit. It can be sometimes hard to distinguish between the road and the side. But even though we cocked up a little bit towards the end there, we still did it. Obviously, these, pr these rewards are pretty crap, I have to say. <laughs> Um, Alright, we've still got five minutes left. I actually thought it wouldn't have taken us that long, but it's nice to see that it filled out the episode. I mean, we've actually done quite a lot. We've filled out, like, three new areas on my spreadsheet that we hadn't touched before and completely done, being uh, the side missions, top fun missions, and properties. Um, so I guess what we will do, ladies and germs, is we will try our best to finish off the hidden packages. That's what that's what my um, idea was. Um, if we ended up having spare time, uh, we only have nine of them, so it shouldn't take us too long. So the next one I'm going to go for is number thirty-four on the map, which actually isn't too far from us. So it's a good job. That it, like, it seems. So what's in our fair that we've 
finished up just towards like the south area. Um, not talking much sense here. Not the south area, I don't know about like not the far north because it means we can still work our way up for the remaining hidden packages. Uh, so we go around this part, which is where we finished off our last set of hidden packages. Should be able to come around here. And then, just before it gets to the bridge. Should be around here. Yep, yeah, there it is. Sweet. So this is number 26. So we've done 34, no, for 35. Which is literally... <laughs> uh, you know, we'll come back to that one, I think. Because uh, it's on the far end of the beach. Um, we got 36 last time by accident, so... You know what? Sorry, we're just going to follow my own order here. Um, so we'll go for 41. No, I don't. We'll go down for number 40. Pardon my friend. Oh, and we've gone past it. Sweet. <laughs> uh, I assume it's actually inside the shopping mall. Ah! <laughs> there it is. We actually look. I literally just stopped it, I was like, what the hell is this thing? And then, as soon as I unpaused it, it was literally staring me in the face, so, you know. Alright, we got that, that's good. Um, so we want to get 37. Which, I don't know, but I also be in the car park, well not the car park, the, um, the mall. Or not? I don't know. Could it be around this area? It is. Okay, that's convenient. All right. Thank you. I'm 28. Motor Bene. Um. So we get number 38, which is go on this side. And found about here. Oh. I don't know now. That might also be in the bloody mall. God damn it. Okay, so the guard's telling me that this hidden package should be up here. And yep, yeah, there it is. Okay. Cool. So there's only five more, I believe, that we need to collect. Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Oh my god, who positioned that head? Oh! Easy, Tiger. Yo, meathead, get back here. Someone needs a smack of a position, this. I got with, we got the 357 delivered to the Ocean View Hotel. I don't know what that is. Is that a pistol? I assume it's a pistol. I don't. <laughs> Don't, I thought Tommy was going to drown there, I was like, excuse me? What the hell? <laughs> Did you just stop your toe or something? Alright, uh, let's go back over to the map. Uh, so we've got 38 and 39 there. Which means we've got 34, I've got 35, 36, we've got 37, 38, 39, what's 39? Oh yeah, we just got 39, never mind. 40... Where's 40? 40 we got... Uh, 41... Four, 45... Hmm. Alright. Oh, what a shame. Should you draw that right now then, should you? You bloody fool. Okay, uh, let's get this beach one out of the way then. Uh, so it's a bit more to the south, I think. I assume it's going to be in some form of... No. Of course you don't understand, I wasn't talking to you. 
certain device. Oh, there's our hidden package. Certain um, helpful, I say that sarcastically, device on iPhones is trying to pop up there. All right, this was a poor choice of vehicle to drive on the beach, wasn't it? <laughs> Come on, Evo, Evo. Alright, uh, we actually have some on another island, which I didn't know we could actually go to. Probably if I'd paid attention to the map, then I would have done. Uh, so, what would we have to? 41, 44, and 45. Okay. Come on. Shift it. Goodness gracious me. Why? Come on. This is meant to be an old gen game, 2002. So no, there's no difference between sand and grass. It's not being so te technologically advanced for your time. God damn it, Vice City. Alright. So just grab those dead quick. Say dead quick. No, oh my god. Are you serious? Jesus Christ. Some people need to get sued in this game. Me, I'd probably be on the top of that list, but you know, I'd accept it if it meant I could sue other people. Alright, so we need to go back onto the upper level to get across the bridge. Which, again, I didn't know we could actually do, but we can, so there's that. Alright. Oh my god, squeeze around, squeeze around. Had a boy. Right, so we need to cross over this bridge. So we're gonna go for this block on our right. Uh just a bat, you know. <laughs> Let's get out of there. Um, where is this one? Um, hmm. Probably up here, isn't it? Somewhere. Yes, there we go. Thank God. There's a stupid hidden fucking package. <laughs> Jeez Louise, never had to work so hard for a thing in my life. Well, I have, but, you know. Alright, um, so... Got two more to get. Where's my... Vehicle. Actually, we'll ignore that, can't we? Ask with it. Uh, so we want to go for 40... Don't, you little bitch, how dare you? Alright, so if we come to this area here... Hopefully, it's not going to make it as awkward for me this time. Or probably will. I don't know. Who knows? Who even knows anymore? Alright, here we go. Here we fucking go. Oh, there it is. How nice. How lovely and non-difficult that one was to get. So we could take a memo. Alright, so the last one we're going to go for is... Whoa, someone's shooting. I don't like that. That's not cool. That is not cool. Uh, somewhere in this block down here. Let's try poking around in here. It's not in here. Okay. Can confirm. Don't go around there. But here we go. Should be somewhere, surely. Here? Ah, there, there it is. Alright, guys. That is number 34, and that is the... Last package, at least it's recommended for us to pick up at this point, if not the last one we can actually obtain. So, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to do a quick cut here, and I'll see you guys back at the Ocean Views apartment. Alright, guys, here we are. Let's just wrap up the episode. It's a bit too far from my liking. Okay, there we go. Um, So, let's go and have a look at what we've picked up. So, so there's our chainsaw again, we don't need that. We've already got that. And there is our um, pistol. So that's actually the Magnum, isn't it? Which is the, one of the toughest pistols there are. Which is fantastic in my books. 
All right, so let us save the game. So, number five. Let's have a look at where we actually are now in terms of progression. So we're an outlaw. We've completed 17% of the game, guys. That is fantastic. Um, so let's have a look at actually what we have left to do, at least for this sort of act that I've given myself. Um, so we have one, two, three, four. We've got five more missions to do between Cortez and Diaz. We've got two more sets of taxi driver to do. Uh, we've got the pizza boy job. We've got eight more stunt jumps. And what was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven more rampages. And that is it. So we should be able to divide that up real easily. Might even have some leftover missions by the time that we get to that. So in the next episode, guys, we will be doing the first mission for Cortez, which is Treacherous Swine. And then I assume we might do some more unique stunt jumps. Who knows? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also be sure to share the video. I'll see you guys in episode 6. Everything Bye. Changes.